Those latest numbers in from the census also show America is becoming more diverse, and so is Central Georgia. One sign of that diversity, a growing Hispanic community in Peach County. Molly Jett continues our team coverage with how changing demographics are giving Peach County a new flavor. Rosa Medina's family moved from Florida to Fort Valley more than 30 years ago. My family migrated with uh, the season, with the peaches and pecans. About a decade later, her sister opened El Mercadito, one of Fort Valley's Hispanic grocery stores. We've met a lot of people, and even though they're not our color or race, uh, they have became a uh, family to us. According to census numbers released Thursday, more than 2,500 people in Peach County said they were Hispanic or Latino. That's about 35% more than 10 years ago. Medina says with Dickey's Farm, Pearson, and Lane Southern Orchard, there are job opportunities for many Hispanic families. They come here and this is their way of sending money to their family. Peach County High School agricultural teacher Luz Morales family also moved to work on the Peach Farms. She grew up with the Medinas. It's small, everyone is friendly, you know, this is a place where agriculture industry at any any family can really grow safely. With many families settling down and choosing the Fort Valley Byron area as their home, the Peach County School District hired an official interpreter to help translate documents. Her job is to help families and communities when it comes to um, translating documents, especially for the Hispanic community. Medina is happy to see her community growing. And I know a lot of the people in our community and I enjoy serving them and seeing their beautiful faces. The census says around 32,000 people across central Georgia called themselves Hispanic. That's more than all the people living in Peach County. In Fort Valley, Molly Jett, 13 WMAZ News. And more signs of diversity in central Georgia. The census says more than 10,000 people listed themselves as Asian. That is more than the populations of Johnson or Wilkinson counties. 